In this gig economy or big economy, more and more people are looking for ways to make cash. Well, now a Rancho Cucamonga woman is sharing her experience of cashing in by rolling up her sleeves. When you first enter, you're going to answer a series of questions and then go through a medical screening process. The foot traffic outside is brisk. The wait inside can be hours. Ever since the financial meltdown of 2008, the cash for plasma business has been booming. I've donated probably about 15 to 20 times. Zelda Yamaz of Alta Loma has a full-time job as a biology tutor at a community college. It was a co-worker who turned her on to the idea of plasma donation. At first, I would have severe anxiety over the idea of being poked by a needle. But once she got used to the idea, I just decided, you know what, I can get compensated and I can also be doing a good deed, helping other people and get over my fear of needles. These pictures on Yelp show some of the incentives. Donate at the Red Cross or for a hospital like UCLA and be rewarded with cookies, chips, maybe even movie tickets. Go to a private business like Hemacare in Van Nuys or Griffles in Rancho Cucamonga. They don't offer any snacks. You're just compensated with the money. Donors most often get paid for plasma. To get it, centers draw your blood, extract proteins and liquid, and return your red blood cells. You can donate plasma as often as twice a week. They load the money um, onto a debit card. I was compensated about $75 for my first two two visits and then $50 after that, and then it drops down to $25 and $40. Hospitals and drug companies buy the plasma to make life-saving therapies. For donors who show up eight times a month. About $250 to $300 is realistic. But Zelda made far more after recruiting other donors by placing ads on Craigslist. Because I took advantage of their buddy bonus program, I was able to earn $1,000 just from other people donating. Between her own donations and those buddy bonuses, I've earned about $2,000. Zelda hasn't donated since mid-December, and now she's not sure if she wants to continue. Studies show donating too frequently could weaken the immune system and... I don't know what the long-term effects are. But she has no regrets about what she's done so far. She used my money for my car insurance payments. And should she ever be in a position to need plasma herself? I think there's plenty of people out there that unfortunately are in a financial, you know, strap, like they need the extra money so they will be donating. And there's other people that just do it out of the goodness of their heart. So I do feel confident that there will be plasma out there for people that need it. One type of donation called a mobilized white blood cell donation can pay as much as $800 for a single draw. That's because it requires injections of a powerful medication, which can have side effects. By the way, medical experts do agree that occasional donations of plasma or whole blood are safe and potentially life-saving for recipients.